you guys welcome back to my channel i have got a fun one for you guys today I've got a couple new things here from ColourPop. did you guys know that they had a couple new things come out some of them being eyeshadow palettes hopefully you caught my sarcasm there but i do have some fun things to share with you guys we're gonna be trying them out together i did get a couple of eyeshadow palettes some of their quads that i've been hearing really good things about one of their serum blushes and then a really interesting brow product that we're gonna test out and see how it compares to one of my holy grail eyebrow products i cannot wait to see how it goes before we jump in i want to give a special welcome to any new visitors to my channel if you are new here please be sure to hit that subscribe button i would love to have you as a permanent visitor or member of the team here or party whatever you want to call it you're all welcome hopefully you enjoyed this video that was so stupid but i am really happy to have you here be sure all of you if you do enjoy this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate that and with all those formalities out of the way let's get to it all right guys got the hair pulled back forgive the lighting today i know i feel like i have said this in the last four videos but I can't help it. I feel like it needs to be said. We are fighting some very large, puffy, gray clouds outside. So my lighting is going to fluctuate massively during this video. I will try and keep up, but I can't make any promises. See, here we go. Thank you. Thank you, cloud. So let's go through what I did end up picking up in my ColourPop order. I actually went on the ColourPop website almost solely for the intention of picking up a new Brow Boss gel. It is out of stock. It has been out of stock for quite a while. I think it might still be out of stock on Ulta's website as well. But while I was there, I started browsing at a couple of things. I found a new brow product. I picked up the Feather Effect Styling Wax. This is just a... Let's go ahead and open it together. I actually haven't opened this yet. Basically a flat thing of wax. I'm actually filling this with my finger right now. This is a seriously stiff. Is there like plastic on top? This will be very, very interesting. I was wondering how this would compare to my e.l.f. Shape and Stay wax stick. I don't think they're going to compare. They feel very different. This one feels significantly harder than that one, but we will give it a try. I did also pick up the little brush that you can buy them separately or buy them together kind of as a bundle. It comes with this little spoolie brush. This actually looks like a really fantastic spoolie. And I am one that does not underestimate the importance of a really good spoolie. So if you're on ColourPop's website and you just want a really good brow spoolie, this is pretty awesome. It looks pretty promising. So that should be fun to try. I haven't done anything to my brows yet. I'll probably throw a little bit of my Ulta brow pencil on before we get to the wax. We'll do that in just a minute, but let's go through the couple of other things that I grabbed. I picked up one of their cheek dues. Jessica Braun used this recently in a video and seemed to really like it. I really wanted to pick up the shade that she used, but some of the shades were out of stock. I ended up going with the shade Hot Fuss, which looks like it matches my shirt. I feel like this was kind of meant to be. I honestly did not do that on purpose. I often do do that on purpose, but this time I didn't, I swear. It does look a little dark. I'm a little intimidated by the shade of this. Hopefully it's very sheer, but I'm excited to give that one a try. And then for the eyeshadow palettes I picked up, I was interested in their eyeshadow quads, which I've heard a lot of people talking about pretty highly. And I was really intrigued by these when I first saw them, which I think is kind of funny because when they came out with their five pound palettes, I wasn't really interested in those for some reason. But then I saw the quads and I was like, ooh, you got me. Not quite sure why that is, but I picked up two of these. I got the one in the creamsicle version. This looks really promising. Very pretty shades, kind of peachy pinks in here. You know, I love a good peachy pink tone. Probably not the most unique thing I've ever seen. I also got the citrus fizz version. This one also looks really, really promising. I'll insert for you guys right here some close-ups of these swatched so you can see how they look swatched on the arm, how the color stories compare to each other. They're definitely different from each other. But I also feel like they're very complimentary. These would be really fun to use together. A couple of these were out of stock when I was looking, but I'm pretty happy with these. They look pretty promising. I'm sure I'll enjoy both of these. I don't know how unique these are going to be. These do seem pretty basic. I think they did have some that maybe were a little bit deeper, had a little bit more impact, but I think most of these are all pretty monochromatic. I don't mind that. They're really small. They seem very travel friendly. I do like the clear packaging. I think it's really cute and I'm excited to try them. We'll try one of these today. I'm not quite sure which one we're going to do. I might actually wait till I apply my cheek product first because I'm not quite sure how that color is going to come out on my cheeks, but we'll definitely be giving one of those a try today. I did pick up two other palettes because they were on sale and because I am a sucker, but I wanted to go ahead and just show these to you guys because I have been using these for the last couple of days and actually been pretty impressed with both of them. This one I haven't used quite as much, but it looks lovely. This is the Menage a Moi palette. This palette came out during the holidays. Lots of pinks and kind of, I would say almost cool tone pinks in here, which I love. I love a good cool tone pink. I also have the one that came out along with this one and that was the Boudoir Noir, Boudoir Noir palette. I love this palette. This is one of 
or was one of my favorites during the holiday season. Beautiful color story, this one. And I'm kind of excited to have the pair. Probably didn't need them. I'm sure that I have shades similar to this, probably even in other ColourPop palettes. It is a very beautiful color story if you like those kind of dusty mauve, pinky purple tones. This looks very, very promising. I have used it like once, but I haven't used everything inside here yet. The other one I picked up is the Off Melrose palette. This is one that I had on my wish list, and then I took it off my wish list thinking that it looked a little too boring. And then I started looking at it again and put it back on my wish list. And I've got to say, you guys, I've used this about three or four times this week and really enjoyed it. There's actually some really beautiful shades in here. It doesn't look all that interesting or impactful, but there's some really great basics in here and quite a bit of variety if you like different versions of a basic eye look, like maybe a little bit of pink, maybe a little bit of brown, a little bit of peach, duochrome. You guys know I'm a sucker for a good duochrome. It does have one press glitter, by the way. The Menage a Moi has two press glitters in it, which I'm not totally opposed to, but it doesn't bother me as much as it used to bother me. But I do like this palette. I think it's a fun one. All right, so let's get into the rest of this makeup look. As you probably assumed, I do have a lot of my makeup already on. My foundation, my concealer, I do have bronzer on. For foundation today, I'm using my Maison Snell Repair BB Cream, which I am loving. For my concealer today, I'm using the Tarte Ultra Creamy. As a bronzer today, I have on the Patrick Ta Cream and Powder Duo, and I did put a little bit of lip liner on earlier. I have the Milani 04 All Natural kind of just on the bottom of my lips. It's kind of worn off. It's been a few hours. So let's get to the brows first. So I want to try and use this in the way that I use my e.l.f. wax stick. And I want to try putting the wax in my brows first before I go in with the brow pencil, the Ulta Beauty brow pencil. So I'm assuming you just kind of work this into the spoolie. That's what I'm doing myself. This stuff is seriously stiff. Like I feel like it would benefit from a little bit of heat. It is a little bit cold down here in my basement today. They did have a colored version of this as well. I think when I checked, I could only see that they had one color, which I thought was kind of interesting, but my guess is this stuff is pretty sheer. By the way, the price on this was, I think, with the spoolie, I think it was nine or ten dollars with the spoolie. I'm going in with another layer here. This is really interesting. I like, can't tell if it's actually applying to my brows or not because it is so incredibly stiff. Why don't we read up on this really quick? Because I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to pull up the information on that. My internet doesn't appear to be working very well right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add some of this Ulta Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. This one is in the shade Ash Taupe. All right, so there it is with some brow pencil. And let's go ahead and read up a little bit on this brow product, which perhaps I should have done before I started just jumping in and applying it as if I know what I'm doing at all times. I do not. So here's what it says. It says, create your fullest, fluffiest looking brows with this innovative brow styling wax. Get the perfect brushed up, laminated brow look that's lightweight and natural. Unique solid to gel formula tames and shapes brows with a strong flexible hold that lasts all day while grown. Make that growth peptides nourish and condition brows. Hmm. Application tips. This is what we need to read. Activate the formula with a drop of setting mist or water. Andy. Did I not learn in second grade that you should always read the instructions all the way through before you just jump in and start doing? Apparently I've forgotten that lesson. Okay, so that makes much more sense. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of the Pretty Fresh Setting Mist. Spray a little bit directly onto the product itself. Sorry guys, still fighting the sun. Definitely can feel a difference. Make sure that you wet it first. <laughs> totally, totally different, much better. Okay, I kind of love what that's doing right now. Hmm. I have a feeling this brush, it looks pretty gummy already. I have a feeling this brush is one I'll have to wash kind of regularly. I imagine this will get pretty gummed up pretty quick. But for the actual product, now that I used it the right way, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with this. We will see how it holds. But right now I feel like my brows look great. They look even better than this one right here. It definitely has more holding power. I can tell that it's stronger. It's just, it's a thicker wax, so it has a little bit more hold. I will try and keep you guys posted how this wears like by the end of the day, but for now, pretty happy about that one. Let's move into the cheek product. So again, I got the cheek dew in the shade Hot Fuss. Let me give this a little swatch on the back of my hand. How dark are we dealing with today? I think it's going to be pretty. I just hope I can get the amount right. Okay. Okay. This is quite red. I mean, it has a subtle tinge of pink to it, but it does have pretty strong corally red tint, which I think is going to be beautiful. So I still can't find my Luxie Duo Fiber Powder Brush. I need to clean this whole area out, which I'm hoping to do 
soon. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna take this Moda stippling brush. So I'm kind of trying to shear it out on the back of my hand first and then pick it up with the brush. And then we're gonna just start tapping that on. Okay, that's pretty, it is pretty pigmented. I'm trying to be pretty light-handed with this color, but man, that is like a really pretty natural flush color. Really nice shade. I would imagine you could get this type of a product to work for a lot of different skin tones. There's definitely a lot of pigment on there if you have a deeper skin tone. There's a lot of pigment there if you build it up. You're gonna get some strong color, but if you have more fair skin, you can go in with a little bit more of a light hand, shear it out, and get it to work for you as well. Very excited about this. This is really, really nice product. I really like the texture of this. It's a little tackier than the Juicy Pang water blushes, but it's not greasy. Like, it's a nice, tackiness. It's almost like bouncy. I like it. Now let's move into the eyeshadow palette. So I am torn. You guys, there's a part of me that really wants to go with this neutral palette because I just think these are such beautiful neutral shades. And I really do love this peach color, but I feel like these berry tones would really look great with this cheek color. Don't hate me. We're going to go with the neutral palette. I really want to see what level of depth I can get out of this brown right here. And I feel like I've done a lot of pink toned looks recently. So we're going to save this one for another time and try out the very basic Citrus Fizz palette right here. So let's start off by going into this peach shade in this upper corner. This looks so pretty. Sorry guys, the sun is just not cooperating with me at all today. I need a smarter camera that will automatically adjust for things like that. This camera is not quite, not quite that smart. It's a great quality camera, but it's not a smart camera. Very pretty. Let's now start deepening things up with this brown right here. So far these mattes feel like the same formula as their mattes and their circular palettes. I don't know why that kind of throws me off. I assume because the pan size is different that something has changed. But so far these seem really easy to blend, nice and pigmented. This brown is pretty, pretty pigmented. So this looks really pretty, but I'm already feeling like I might jump in at the end and throw in a little bit of this dark berry tone here because it's bothering me that my cheeks don't match my eyes and my shirt. I mean, when I have the opportunity to match all three, I have to take it. It's a compulsion. I can't help it. All right, now I'm going to jump into this bronze shade right here. This does have some kind of small gold sparkle in it. it looks super, super pretty. But it's also not too dark, which I really love. I love lid shimmers that aren't too dark but keep that in mind that's if you like something a little bit deeper more of like a smoky shimmery eye this one's pretty light seems like these palettes would be really good for just really simple quick eye looks that you don't have to think much about i mean you could put either shade in your crease either shade on your lid at least with the ones that i'm looking at and trying right now i mean i know i haven't tried them all but that is so so pretty. I don't actually feel like I need the brightness on the inner corner, but I've, I've got to try this champagne. So we're going to go ahead and just take a little bit of this on the tip of my finger. Ooh, look at that reflective gold. That is beautiful. And just pop that on this inner part of the lid and inner tear duct. That is very, very bright, which I love, but I know that's not everybody's cup of tea. Just a tiny bit more brown to this side. Like it's not quite as deep. What a simple but pretty eye look. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of liner. Actually, today I wanna take a little bit of gel liner. I'm gonna take my Tony Moly Black Gel Liner. I'm gonna put a little bit of liner on, a couple coats of mascara. I'm gonna put my Maybelline Sky High mascara on today. Then I'm gonna come back and show you guys the finished look, and then we're gonna add a little bit of this red and just kind of see the difference. All right, guys, so here are the eyes all finished up so far. I do, I forgot to add a highlighter, so we're gonna take a little bit of my ColourPop Flexitarian highlighter and pop a little bit of this on one of my old standby favorites. All right, now I wanna jump over to the Cream Sickle palette. And I'm gonna take that number 14 brush, that small blending brush. We're gonna dip into this darkest kind of berry coral color right here. Such a pretty color. And I'm gonna pop a little bit of this in this outer corner. Let me see if I can pull a little more red out of this look. Matches my shirt beautifully. Okay, now let's move on to the lips. I'm kind of tempted to try out the Cheek Dew 
on my lips. First, I want to add a little bit more liner. Let's take the Milani. This is the 04 All Natural Lip Liner. Putting that below the center of my lips. Why don't we go ahead and just try it? And then I might pop a little bit of something lighter on top. I don't want my lips to be too dark. So let's take a little bit of this on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna kind of press it into my finger. Definitely looks like more of a stain than a lipstick. It's really subtle, very sheer, but it does give quite a bit of color. Not bad, kind of interesting. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on top. This is the Maybelline Shine Lipstick in the shade Baddest Beige. All right guys, so here we have the completed look. Very happy with how this one turned out. I actually love the addition of that red to the outer corner. So pretty, love that combination. I love the cheek color. It's really beautiful, very dewy, very subtle, very natural looking. And my brows still look great. It's only been about 30, 40 minutes since I applied that. So we'll see how this goes throughout the rest of the day, how they hold up. But so far I'm pretty impressed, pretty happy with everything that I tried today. I will keep you guys posted, especially on the cheek color and the brow product, how those wear by the end of the day. So check for that down in the description box down below. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to know if you guys have tried any of these products out yourselves, how they worked out for you. Please leave us a note down in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful for you or at least entertaining. I always love trying out new stuff from ColourPop. But that is it for today. Thank you guys again for joining me today. I want to remind you one more time, if you are not yet subscribed, I would love it if you would do that before you leave. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. My hair is still drying and being totally rebellious. Look at this rebellious curl right here. Where are you trying to go? To give you the pin. You're getting the bobby pin. I don't really want to put a clip in because it's going to kink my hair because it's a little wet. Prima Donna much, Mandy? I am very excited to dip. I am very excited to dip. I, oh gosh. Use, using, using what, using, oh my gosh.